Hi dear friends, this is Ambiya Lesgar. Welcome to new another parts video of Planet Automation Limited. Today I want to describe about the practical implementation of our this previous video. If you watched of my previous video, that was the how to control of your forward and reverse by limit choice. Okay. You see in here now my previous video that was the part number one how to you uh, design of your tolling circuit or controlling diagram of um, press forward by limit choice when you are a missed of a previous video that must be to us at the times so you clearly understand uh, what is the controlling circuit of uh, reverse forward by limit switch here okay so friends this is the in here this limit switch is connected of your belt or any kinds of um, gate or any kinds of conveyor belt to side is in here this is the uh, last side of your conveyor belt and this is the finish side of conveyor belt or gate when your conveyor belt is running forward the times its uh, limit switch is um, pushed by on in here and after five seconds it will be off and then instantly your forward will be off and then after five seconds your reverse will be on all system is uh, controlled by timer one and timer two when timer one work for reverse conditions and timer two work for your uh, forward condition i was described in my previous video when you are in my previous video the times you clearly understand what is the main theme of this video of uh, these uh, circuit diagrams in uh, by handwriting in here this is the circuit break one and two one is supply and two is your output and it's going to your 95 of your overload and 96 your overload arrow conditions in here so friends this is the two numbers it's directly connected of your 95 uh, pin of overload you see in here this is the overload this is the connected of your forward forward magnetic conductor and this is the your reverse magnetic conductor so friends you see in here this is the overload 95 and 96 is nc okay normally close that means when you are supply of your power the times is overload connected indirectly this is the phase only phase in here and it's a directly connected your 95 pin of overload and 96 this is the outgoing and your 95 pins directly connected to this 97 pin okay and this is the your anode condition that means 97 and anode this is the overload pin and this is the 95 and 96 your overload nc okay so friends 95 to 97 this is the directly connected of your the triple amp okay and um, 98 from the 98 uh, you are connected uh, this is the um, x1 of your um, trip lamp in uh, this is the trip lamp in here this is the yellow bulb is uh, only trip lamp okay and uh, it's the uh, opposite uh, that means x2 terminal this is directly connected to the neutral okay so friends you see in here this is the trip lamp is yellow and um, this is the forward and this is the reverse reverse and this is the forward all is green bulb and this is the stop no load conditions uh, this uh, lamp will be on okay so friends um, i hope you guys understand this is the main devices of our this uh, controlling circuit or this um, project okay so friends this is the limit shoes and this is also limit shoes two limit shoes so we have control of your belt two side of your belt which is uh, both um, uh, limit switch is connected uh, parallelly so this is the emergency stop button and this is the forward and this is the reverse uh, when we are manually control of our belt the times its push button is uh, must be neat okay and this is emergency stop button when you are emergency stop is stop of your operation the times it must be neat okay so when this is extra uh, control of our belt uh, with a timer of any kinds of timer which device is uh, finished the times uh, we are users of this selected shoes uh, for sometimes our emergency conditions only okay so uh, this is not connection in here uh, this is a uh, reverse and forward and emergency stop tree is connected for our this product this is the emergency stop button which is connected 97 to 1 and 1 and 2 is a uh, stop button your directly 2 to uh, 1 is short for our this limit switch in here. 4 to your timer number 1 that means this timer number 1 is supply in here and uh, this is the two number switch that means on switch on switch uh, means forward on this is the forward uh, I know conditions that means normally open which is um, latching for forward this is the forward um, parallelly connected to the T2 that means when your reverse is connected the times when you are first of your limit shoes that anu will be nc and t2 will be continue or t2 will be on when t2 will be on that means uh, reverse uh, uh, finished and after five seconds its forward will be on when timer 2 will be on that means uh, its forward is directly on okay. when your its limit shoes is pushed by belt pushed by motor the times its, it's anu will be nc that means timer 1 is on instantly forward will be off and after five seconds t2 is connected when uh, that means uh, this anu will be nc and uh, this reverse will be on this is the alternating format of uh, this the limit switch one and it's um, work for this uh, reverse and this limit switch forward this is the interlocking system for reverse this uh, format we are connected uh, for this panel board when you are apply of your practical sector of this um, system you got a good solutions for reverse forward by limit switch uh, we want to go to this uh, practical view of this video
first I was shaped in this is the five second and five second in here this is the T1 and this is the T2 I want to supply of uh, this panel board okay so friends here you see in here at this uh, stop button that means your panel is uh, on by power that means supply is okay this is stop that means no load conditions in here on your active of your load running off the conveyor belts i wanna connect off for this limit shoe is you see in here this is the uh, conditions of the supplies in here okay and this is also connected so friends this panel is ready for our practical implementations in here so friends uh, i wanna start off our this panel this system i want to so friends uh, start the forward first time start the forward our load is on that times is stop baron it will be off okay so friends our forward is running bolt is finished pushed by our last sections and after five seconds its reverse will be on when pushed off our this uh, limit switch instantly and immediately uh, forward will be off after five seconds our reverse is on finished of our this uh, conveyor belt or a, any kinds of gate automatically controlled by limit switch the times is uh, will be forced by wall or finisher that means immediately its reverse is off after five seconds forward is on this is safety for five seconds and five seconds this is the safety for your direction of motor this is a synchronous motor you are a not a command of your motor directly by any kinds of direction okay so friends um, i hope you can understand this is the forward and this is the reverse and how you are held is pushed by off uh, um, the wall immediately your forward is off after five seconds your reverse is on again when your belt is finished pushed by of your wall or last terminal last from your side by wall okay the times its reverse is off after five seconds forward will be on the so this systematic way we are automatically control of our any kinds of gate any kinds of conveyor belt um, of this processing by limit choice so friends this is the system of our this forward and reverse um, when expected overload of conveyor belt or a gate or motor will be trip uh, that's condition so your overload is running set in here when trip our trip lamp will be on times you not run of your forward or reverse any kinds of operation that's all operation will be stopped without or you are when you are reset of your operation the times it's on um otherwise not will be on it's all operation will be stopped in here you see in here any kinds of timer or any kinds of devices all is your operation full stopped in here not working off or any kinds of forward or reverse without when we are a reset of our operation the times is going to the normal condition and now we are we are connected off our forward reverse that means when you are in control of our belt and uh, unexpected overload is coming the times uh, you release of your overload then we are operate off our or run of our motor okay so friends i hope you guys understand this is a step by step and this is processing scene here after five seconds is forward will be off and after five seconds reverse will be on and um, are seen here and again when we are finished of our belt and uh, this will be forced by a uh, wall or uh, large side and uh, immediately is uh, for off and after from the five seconds our forward will be on okay so friends i hope you guys understand what is the main theme of our what is the application sector of our any kinds of build and how to you control of our any kinds of build or gate this is the perfect practical implementation so friends our next video tutorial will be supply the power and we are run of our motor by practically reverse and forward okay and this is the part number three will be of this video so friends i hope you understand it is a step by step processing so, uh, our previous video that was the controlling circuit of our this uh, um, video tutorial and uh, this is the practical of controlling circuit and after the third number video or third number part of it, this will be you know, power connections uh, and this will be the controlling by the motor practically see how the control of our motor by the limit shoes okay so friends i'm um, watching the next video tutorial till then allah hafiz dear viewers if you like video of planet automation limited please subscribe the channel and then click the bell icon this process will never miss another new update